Living Things Festival will be transforming the side of Rotary Center for the Arts every evening this month from 5 to 9. The piece is called The Collective Body, where 50 artists from across North America collaborated for the piece. This is an extremely complex affair. There are three projectors in there and there are three computers in there running it and uh, there are n basically nine frames. So, so the, the, the possibilities of combination are you know, exponential. You can get so much uh, fr from the materials. The visuals that you see now and the sound are actually on separate tracks. So some, if, you know, an, hour, an hour from now or tomorrow, for example, you might see the same video but hear a different part of the sound. And so it's up to the viewer to decide, okay, what fits and what doesn't. The 50 artists embarked on solo projects of creating and filming three pieces, allowing the team to work with 150 different compositions. It's deeply honored to work with such a range of musicians. So we have, for example, familiar instruments like saxophone, trumpet, percussion. We also have the hurdy-gurdy, the air who, um, vocalists, um, synthesizers. So quite a range and a real a fun challenge to put together. The festival says they had money and they want to support the artists who were deeply impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. We have funding from Heritage Canada, from the city of Kelowna, so we felt obligated to do something with that money. And given the circumstances, we thought we got to get as much money as possible to the artists. Kids are enjoying the piece by naming all the different body parts they're seeing, while the music is attracting those going on their evening strolls. Art stops you. It doesn't move you. It stops you. It interrupts your day and offers you a, a, a sort of a relief from all of the things in your own life that are going on. It allows us to feel, it allows us to, to share stories with each other and connect in that way. Uh, the local musicians and artists, dancers, they, they need support, they need funding, and we're happy to provide that. The second event hosted by Living Things is called Objects in Motion, which is a selection of short animated films for a mature audience. This live event is only for two nights, and tickets could be found at livingthingsfestival.com. Sarita Patel, Casanet News, Kelowna.